Thank you so much for joining us on the FRO, which stands for Front Row, at the launch of our latest exclusive collection to black, white denim, Bow and Bow. All you need to do now is enjoy the show. Congratulations, Becky, on the Thank launch you. of Bow and Bow. How on earth did you manage to launch a brand new <laughs> brand from scratch whilst the world was literally on its knees? Well, I guess we didn't know what was around the corner when we decided to launch Bow and Bow. Um, the idea came from a lovely New Year's Eve trip away in Italy with Erin. And Erin? Um, Erin is my business partner. So Bow and Bow stands for Boya and Barini, our surnames. Um, so yeah, she's, she's the other half of Bow and Bow, who unfortunately is in Turkey at the moment and can't be here today. Um, but no, we both decided that it was something we really wanted to do and we started to work on the brand before Covid hit. Right. Um, in fact, it was quite a pinnacle <laughs> time in the, in the start of Bow and Bow where we were actually looking for factories. We were going to go to Turkey because that's where we manufacture um, and everything shut down. Um, so it was kind of scary, but it helped me free up my time to be able to physically do this and really put everything I've got into it. Because before COVID times, I was so busy styling mm -hmm. that, I, you know, I still would have done it because I'm determined, but it would have been a lot harder. Mm -hmm. So I had a lot more time on my hands um, to give it my all. How did, you've talked about Erin, your business partner. How did you and Erin meet? So again, the same industry that um, I, well, I still work in today, but the, kind of my background that's led me to do Bow & Bow as well is the fashion industry. I've been a stylist for years, um, gosh, maybe 15 years. Um, and Erin modelled and we actually met on um, a couple of photo shoots and got chatting. And then we ended up actually being put on the same job and it was a trip to Spain and she was modeling, I was a stylist, and we just connected and realized that we had so much in common and a, a friendship came out of that, really. Where does your, where does the design inspo, inspiration for Bow and Bow come from? I can literally be watching a movie, an old movie, like some 80s movie and go, oh my God, her jacket is freaking amazing. I really want to be able to, you know, wear something like that. And it also comes from, things that are missing in my own wardrobe or things that I love in my own wardrobe that I think, oh, do you know what, I love this part about it but I'm not so sure on this part and I write everything down and then Erin will do the same and we'll both go, oh my God, did you see so-and-so? I did. I just loved her tracksuit and I was like, oh my God, yeah, but I'd, I'd, I'd love it in this colour and this style and so it's a real like fusion of lots of different inspo. Mm -hmm. um, love Instagram as well, <laughs> like yeah. big, big on Instagram. Instagram's been a real big driving Force, I guess, in this industry for quite a long time now. And um, we do all our marketing through influencer marketing as well. Mm -hmm. um, so we totally appreciate the importance of Instagram. But obviously, I get a lot of inspiration from there as well. Yeah. We know where the design inspo comes from. Um, you're a stylist, you know your stuff when it comes to fashion. How do you know how to find, how to source a really good quality fabric? I guess you have to trust your factory a lot for this as well. Erin um, and I actually, when we could fly, um, sort of after the first lockdown, as soon as it was safe to do so, we did actually go and visit our factory mm -hmm. because it was so important to us to actually see how they run things over there, the working conditions, um, things like fair trade and all that. It's so important. We wanted to create a brand that's sustainable, that's ethical, that, you know, it, in times like, just society today everyone's looking for that and wants to do the right thing and you have to be responsible if you're starting a brand um, and I think it was just natural that it was going to have to be organic for me I mean anyone that knows me will know that I kind of like in all areas of my life I'm trying to kind of go down that organic route so makeup um, god household products all sorts I drive my husband mad I'm like is that plant-based yeah. um, so it was only it was the right move for us that it had to be organic. Um, else, it, I, I just don't think it, we would have done it, to be honest. And luckily, Erin feels exactly the same. So we researched it, and there is um, a certification called GOTS, mm -hmm. which is Go Global Organic Textile Standard. Yeah, It's an independent company that makes sure that everything is done to the best standards and that they approve organic down to the, well, the dye, yeah. any zips, any trims 
and that was quite an important part for us so um, all our stuff is got certified. Okay. I am lucky enough to have a few bow and bow pieces and, and I know personally that they wear really well um, they keep their shape and I also know that they wash really well um, and so how do you how do you go about doing do you have a test process once you've designed and had your samples made? Yeah I mean again massive learning curve for us we've never done that before um, and I mean the factory do test things obviously and um, you know they go through their own quality checks before anything is posted out to us um, but Erin and I were really hands-on in the whole design process so we'd get many samples before we sign things off I mean this was a stumbling block actually for quite a while the factory just didn't understand what we meant right. and, and it was actually when we went over there and physically tried it on in front of them and I actually got a pin and went no this is ha this is what we want yeah. we have to be that hands-on I think it's so important it's your brand so yeah we tried washing things so yeah I guess you have to do your test because you're putting your name on something mm -hmm. Um, and we're still learning, there's still things that I want to do and like add new lines into the collection and Erin said the same but we're really happy with what we've achieved and I mean the one that you're wearing especially is like one of my absolute favourites. If you could describe the bow and bow girl, what would she be? Ah, oh, this is like a little tricky one but I kind of... Somebody who really loves to look good but doesn't want to look like they've tried really really hard it's kind of it's got that comfort but it's also got that edge where even like the, the sweatshirt you're wearing that gia sweatshirt it's a little bit of a little nod to like rock and roll and it's a little bit cooler than just a gray sweatshirt so becky you're a stylist by trade so how would you like to see people styling your bow and bow collection do you know it's kind of it's up to, it's how they do it and they make it their own it's like you said before the colors they they go with what you, everyone's got in their wardrobe already if you're a denim girl and you just love wearing jeans and that's what you, you just a jeans and a trainer to kind of girl then that's absolutely fine because all of this will go with that um i mean some of them are so easy to style like because they've got the matching trousers like the halley for example it looks amazing as a tracksuit so We've done the hard work for you, you know, buy the whole tracksuit, any trainers you want. I love about the Halley that you could actually wear it with um, like something I've got on today, like a little heel um, and you can dress it up as well because it is a smart tracksuit. Love how we've styled this one today with one of the leather jackets. That's just perfect. It's just, it's easy. You don't have to be a stylist to wear bow and bow stuff. You can literally put it on with what you've got in your wardrobe and, and look good and feel confident and look stylish. If you could only own one piece of bow and bow, which is That's clearly not the case, <laughs> um, which piece? I would probably say the Gia, what, you, what you're wearing. Just it's so versatile. I love a sweatshirt. I mean, I would wear that with little shorts on the beach in the summer and I'd wear it in the winter, like layered. Um, I even love it how we shot it on our bone boat photo shoot with a white shirt underneath, mm -hmm. um, which makes it a bit smarter. So, and I think it's because it's got the branding, which um, I actually drew the, the words bow and bow on a piece of paper in pencil way, way back in like maybe February um, last year. And that was kind of the start of the bow and bow design. And, and we, then we worked with somebody who digitally put it onto a print. Um, we added the eagle to make it into like a little bit more American. Um, so it's quite special to me, that one. Black White Denim mm -hmm. is your first stockist in the UK. So you've been selling the brand since you launched in January. Yep. And then we started stocking Bow & Bow um, last week, middle of March. Yeah. So after Black White Denim, where would you and Erin like to see Bow & Bow be stocked? Oh gosh, that's a good question. Um, I guess just like anybody that really starts a brand would be to, to hit the big time sort of big time department stores like your Selfridges and really for me online is so huge as well. So like Netta Porter and My Tweezer and brands and, and well companies like that. Um, but I'm really happy at the moment to just be concentrating on our website and then having this as like it's just the best feeling, like walking past, I actually live in Wilmslow, don't I? So it's the, really exciting for me to walk past the shop and see it in the window. Um, so yeah, we just start 
start and just keep growing hopefully. Okay. And it is it must be, it must be. I remember when we opened Black White Denim ten years ago, I'd pull up to work in the morning and just and I would literally be unlocking the door thinking, Is this mine? Yeah. You know, exactly. Is, this is actually my shop. And am I do am I coming to work here today, or is this all just a dream? Yeah, completely. The whole the whole last year's kind of been a bit like that, um, and then it's moments like when we we saw it in the shop window for the first time. I was like, it's all worthwhile, mm -hmm. you know. It's actually like seeing you in it, and the other the other people that work here, and the, the lady I saw outside yeah. who bought it. It all makes it real. Well, I, I, this morning I thought, right, I obviously need to bring in something, wear something bow and bow today. Um, and in the most lovely way, I thought, well, actually, I can't bring anything from home because everything is in the wash because oh, I wore really? everything all of last week. Yeah. So I wore the grey tracksuit, the Halley tracksuit, my little gear to bustle team with I've the got on, yeah. shirt over the top. Um, so, and I thought that is absolute testament to the brand doing, you know, living That's up so to lovely. its values because I I did really live in it. But yeah. I started up with different things. Yeah. So, so versatile. Five different looks out of a few pieces, which was amazing. Yeah. Which hopefully we're going to show people today as well on Annie, yeah. like how to create different looks.